Hi guys, if you're anything like me, you go for a checkup and your doctor looks at your blood report and tatars that your cholesterol level is higher than it should be and it's probably because you're eating too much saturated fat. I was left puzzled because I think I don't eat too much fat, so why still my cholesterol is high? I got reading. The fact is that only 20% of your cholesterol comes from your food. Only 20%. It's amazing how whenever we are told our cholesterol is high, we feel like we have done something naughty. Well, it's not necessarily the case at all. The link between our food and cholesterol has been publicized a lot in the past and we associate food as the only potential driver of high cholesterol level. Yet, 80% of it is produced by our own liver and intestine. First of all, we need to know what cholesterol is. You may be familiar with the terms HDL and LDL. Despite these terms being used all the time, they're not actually cholesterol, but cholesterol transporters. HDL, I call it, is the happy cholesterol transporter as it carries the cholesterol out of your cells back to your liver or glands to be broken down. While LDL is considered the bad transporter, I say lousy transporter, as it transports cholesterol from your liver to the cells. So to oversimplify, they have been labeled as good or bad. In fact, both types are essential to the way your body works and the body has ways of regulating them. So, cholesterol is not all bad. <laughs> your body produces up to one gram of cholesterol per day for a number of body functions. A whopping 60% of your brain is made up of fat and cholesterol. So your brain and nerves, they need cholesterol to function. It converts into hormones, it's needed in every cell and tissue for repair. It also helps you to digest fat and convert sunlight to vitamin D, which helps to lower your blood pressure uh, along with many other functions. Now, LDL particles can be large and small. It's the small oxidized particles that appear to be damaging our health. To reduce the number of oxidized particles, we need to promote a, a diet which is rich in antioxidants. And we know that fruits and vegetables, they are rich in antioxidants. So include berries, fruits, vegetables, nuts in your diet and avoid processed foods and refined sugars. It's commonly agreed that a diet that is rich in simple sugars, carbs and processed foods and the products which have hydrogenated or trans fats, they are really, they are the one which we should avoid. So it causes us many health problems, particularly heart issues. So healthy fats such as olive oil, avocados, nuts and oily fish they should be part of our diet. Mind you, food is not the only factor in determining our heart health. Stress is known as a huge cause of many ailments, including it affects your heart health. Also, we cannot ignore our genetic makeup, which we inherit from our parents. My father's cholesterol level was a bit higher always than the recommended limit, but he had no health issues whatsoever till he passed away in his mid 80s. I hope I've helped you to understand the myths of good and bad cholesterol. For, all, for more of my health videos, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks.